What it do, family? Thank y'all for joining me. Woo! Shout out to my guy, Dwayne Morrell, because he recently lost his brother, and I asked him to come and help me set up my little podcast equipment because I wanted to test it out just to see if y'all could hear me and y'all could, you know, vibe with what I'm saying. And he helped me hook it up. I learned how to hook up a few things. So I got my mic and I got my headphones. So I'm ready to rock and roll. Uh, I just want to get on here. Shout out to my youngin, uh, Terrell Fuller. He just produced or uh, he just published a book is on Amazon, only twelve ninety nine. Seeds of Reflection by Terrell Fuller. Poems and prompts for self discovery. Uh, I'll read. I want to dedicate this book to the people who gave me the courage and strength to be who I am today. Thank you to my mom, my girlfriend, my family, my friends, and my community. You are why I choose to work so hard every morning. I will never give up as long as these important people are in my life. And the first page, and he's a young black man, his first page go with mental health. And mental health is a, a big deal in our community. But um, I'm going to read the poem, Growing My Reality by Terrell Fuller. Because she gave her all to others, the person she once knew slowly faded into a dark hole. Nowhere to be discovered. So undercover that she is invisible to reality, invisible to her own life. Once a flower that bloomed in and out, but now she is experiencing drought within. Fear that she may encounter something so genuine that the dark hole might spread. It can't do any more damage. She's already fed up mentally. It's sickening, it's sickening to see her fall back into those stages, the ones where she was labeled crazy. She's not crazy yet, so misunderstood. She's not crazy yet, so misunderstood. A lot of people are misunderstood in, in today's world, especially our young people. And uh, I'm thankful for young people like young TJ who he defies the odds. He, he keeps it moving regardless of whatever. And that's a good person to have around, especially around me, because a lot of stuff gets thrown my way as a business owner. So, you know, you like to see people handle things with grace and humility and maturity, you know, as much as you can in this world today, you know. So shout out to young TJ Terrell Fuller. Make sure y'all go get that book. Cop that, cop that. Uh, this week, I went and visited two places. I went to uh, Memphis Toast over there on Jackson. Check it out. New breakfast spot. I had chicken and waffles. Delicious. Um, and the owner, I've met Roosevelt. Uh, we're going to see some. We're going to see if they want some cookies at uh, Memphis Toast. But I just wanted to give a shout out to Memphis Toast. Uh, the food was delicious. Service was A1. So shout out to Memphis Toast. Man, y'all did that. Y'all did that. Mm, mm, mm. And uh, yesterday, I went to uh, my guy, Chef Elijah Townsend. Call him Chef Eli. And uh, Dos Hermanos. Dos Hermanos. Uh, I met uh, everybody up in that thing was A1. From the time I entered to I left, they were very nice, cordial. Uh, I enjoyed my food so much. I got my staff some plates and got my baby her lunch, you know, because the food was delicious. So when things are good, I like to share it. I like to tell people, which is what I'm doing now. When it's good, I'm going to share it with y'all. And uh, Memphis Toast, A1, um, and Chef Eli over there at uh, Dos Hermanos in Cosset Library, y'all know this, in the library. And I just heard on Fridays, they do Tiny Kitchen where they have live music, drinks, and good food. So I'm going to try to t uh, get into that this Friday, hopefully. I want to just go ahead and check it out. I'm trying to get out more, vibe more, network more, because your network determines your, your net worth. Your network 
determines your net worth. And uh, so far, so good with that. My relationships that I've built have really been proven to be beneficial to my growth and to me as a business owner. And so I'm just happy about that all day long. Shout out to everybody who messed with Butterific. Yes, thank y'all so much. Um, and I'm going to start, y'all want to, that's what I need, lids. So if you got a brand, you want me to wear your brand on my podcast. But when I go live and I can just talk about your brand and what you got going on for at least two minutes. At least two minutes. Because if it's really hot, I might go fine. But this is Heritage Liz. Shout out to my folks, Heritage Liz. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. I love this hat, man. This hat just speaks volumes, literally speaks volumes. Uh, she is a, a great entrepreneur. She did all the shirts for the Asian night uh, market that just took place over there at uh, Tiger Lane. Amazing event. Shout out to everybody who put that, e that event together. Man, the Asian night market was on point. I did not know Asian folks twerk, but they do. That's what I'm saying. Everybody, man, we are we are more alike than we are unlike. I promise. When Maya Angelou said that, that she spoke a word with that, you know, because everybody was so nice. They came over, did line dances with us. We bought, they bought. It was just a, a good vibe. Uh, so, yeah, shout out to everybody over the Asian night market. But back to my gal, um, Janet over there at uh, Heritage Lids. You can also get, uh, I think I got a voting is my black job shirts over there at Butterific. So, we do a uh, house some of the products that uh, Heritage Liz has at Butterific Bakery and Cafe at 488 South 2nd Street. So if you want to support our sister, black-owned, business, woman-owned, locally-owned, shoot, you know what to do. Pull up. Heritage Liz, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, I just, uh, I'm going to definitely get on here and it, for at least five to ten minutes every day. And I'm trying to uh, just get out here and speak to my people, uh, let y'all know what we got going on at Butterific, what's going on in the city. Uh, I know that wine festival, what is it, wine on the river, I've never got a chance to go. So this year, I'm going to uh, see if my cousins want to go, and we're going to check out wine on the river, y'all. That's going to be dope. <laughs> I cannot wait. Um, and... This month, I have to ride 300 miles, y'all. I'm going, I'm getting back on my bike. My knee put me out of commission for a while, but I'm getting back on my bike. I'm going to get back to my lifting weights, um, walking backwards on this treadmill at an incline because that helps with my knees. So, uh, just, if y'all feel so, if you feel the need, if you, if you, if you want to donate to the, the, the process of riding my bike for 300 miles and I'm doing it in honor of those who um, suffer with cancer or have lost loved ones and those who passed away uh, from cancer you know my grandmother passed away from breast cancer in 90 uh, so that's always when I think of cancer I always think of my grandma because that was my heart you know what I'm saying so that's why I um and I needed something that I believed in so that I can go hard back and get back into working out. So y'all already know if you have a cause, you you if you somebody's dependent on you to do it, you'll do it uh, with me, myself, person. I can't say it for everybody, but I tend to go a little bit harder when I know that someone is depending on me or if I'm doing something for others. So that's what we're doing. We're riding 300 miles, y'all. I got the whole month of August to ride those 300 miles. Today I did 5.8. I'm going to probably do about 6 miles tonight. So I'm going to do a morning ride and a night ride. I'm sure on some days I'll probably get it in when I ride. I take the uh, bike out there to the green line. So, you know, if anybody want to ride with me, let me know. Let me know. Anyway, I'm going to get ready to go out here and get to the polls because I have to vote. Go, Sammy Tor, Sammy Sort. Girl, Tammy Sawyer, what the hell? Sammy, I said Sammy Toya. That was a little dyslexia kicking in. I don't know. But y'all know my girl. Y'all know what to do. Tammy Sawyer, get out and vote. Uh, 
and and just get out and vote, y'all, because that is our black job. We got a lot going on. I am supporting Kamala because I just don't see anybody else that's going to be able to move like she's going to move in this election. You know what I'm talking about? You know, uh, <laughs> Bernie Sanders ain't running. You know, this would have been the perfect time for him to try to do something, but that ain't what we got going on. So I'm doing, I'm going with Kamala. Uh, I've never been a fan. I have, I was a fan of Trump when he was an entrepreneur and he said things like think big or don't think at all. You know, I used to quote his, but, but now, uh, because I know the person, the, the person is just, uh, anyway, that's just my two cents. Y'all, thank y'all so much for supporting Butterific. Again, man, shout out to my guy, Big Tay. People still coming for banana puddings. If y'all don't follow Big Tay Eats, follow Big Tay Eats. He out here changing people's lives. Because my July was not going this well, and he helped me end July with the bang. August is starting off pretty strong. So I'm just excited. Mad thanks to everybody who pulled up at Butterific Bakery. Uh, Group Economics Memphis, be sure to like the page. I'm going through the motions, y'all. I got to get it going because every time I try to do something outside of Butterific, because I'm supposed to stay laser focused, uh, things always come up. But please know, Group Economics Memphis is a thing. I just have to get the right people in place so that we can make sure that it becomes a thing for longer than three weeks. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. I'm Timmy T. Grinding for my moment. Grinding for my moment in my city. No, I want it. Ah. Y'all have a butterific day. Cheers. Peace and blessings. I'm grinding for my moment in my city. No, I won't.